good morning and welcome to today's vlog. Uh, today I am uh, in Rutland uh, at a place called Welland Viaduct. I've, uh, I've researched this place thoroughly so I can happily tell you that Welland Viaduct sits on the road between Seaton and Harrington. And uh, it, it's uh, obviously it's a, a, a huge train bridge, and it was built in 1880 to carry the uh, Oakham Kettering line from Oakham to Kettering. So yeah, as you can see, I've I've done a lot of research on this place. Uh, <laughs> it's a really nice sunrise this morning. Uh, I'm not going to lie; I've already bagged a couple of shots because. I wanted to get here and make sure that I had some decent shots in, in of the sunrise and didn't miss out on actually getting those by doing the vlog or by filming. So um, yeah, I've got a couple in, but the first shot that I've taken, just to uh, give you a bit of uh, info here, it's a, it's a panoramic shot of the viaduct uh, with, the, with the sunrise coming up in the, uh, in the background uh, through the arches, looking down, I've got some water uh, sort of half frozen uh, sort of puddles here at the front in the foreground for a bit of interest which is reflecting some of the viaduct and hopefully some of the lovely red sky which I got for the sunrise and just shooting across it and just doing a panoramic so I'm stitching several uh, portrait shots together and hopefully that'll look quite nice with a bit of luck. Tell you what, it's really cold this morning, really, really cold. I uh, wasn't expecting it to be as cold, it's actually supposed to be a bit warmer uh, over the coming days. So uh, there's a bit of a shock when I first got out here and uh, freezing my bits off. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and find another uh, composition now of this viaduct. I might wander over a bit and see if I can get something looking a bit funky, or I might actually go over the other side. The problem is, Although the sun, I'm not sure the sun's actually up yet. So I was about to say the problem is the sun looks like it's behind some clouds, but I'm not sure it's actually risen over the far hills. When it does rise over those uh, that little hill over there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go to the other side of the viaduct and try and get some shots of it with the sun uh, actually uh, lighting it, which should look quite nice. Oh, I was really cold. My fingers are freezing. Well, I hate to say it, but I don't think the sun's going to put in an appearance. Uh, I'm just looking over where it's coming from and it's become very hazy. So um, I think I've got the best shot I'm going to get from here in the conditions. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to head on to the next place that I've got planned, which is uh, the church uh, at Normanton, I think it is, which is actually uh, on Rutland Water. So it's just, just around the corner from here. So I'm going to head on to there now and uh, see what I can get. And it's gone. Ooh, can I smell? Oh, there's people walking. I'm going to shut up. So I've arrived here at Rutland Water in the church, uh, which is what I've come here for. But the place is full of people. It's very awkward. I don't like talking in front of people. But literally, if I don't, I'm not going to get a vlog done. So I'm going to have to do it. The sky is very flat, uh, very grey. Uh, so it's going to be black and white all the way today. Uh, well, for this part of the day. And. Uh, yeah, let's see how it goes really. I'm going to go up to the church, get quite close. There's a small boat that's quite good, will make quite a good foreground interest, I think, looking at shots that I've seen before. So I'm going to start with that shot, I think. I think I've worked out why it's so busy around here this morning. It's because there's some sort of a fun run going on which when you think about it is a bit of an oxymoron really. But um, 
yeah that's why there's so many people about so i'm setting up the shot now which is going to be the church with this boat in the foreground church in the background i'm not sure yet i might i might try a long exposure i might just shoot it as is it's going to be black and white the sky's not really got a lot of interest in it but fortunately because i'm so close to the boat in the foreground and quite close to the church that should really take the emphasis away from the sky it's all about the subject this shot So I tried to get a bit creative with a couple of the shots. Uh, I've taken the standard one of the boat and the church. I've also gone in close in on the handheld, close in on the boat and tried to drop the church out of focus a bit. I don't know if it's going to look any good. Hopefully it will. I'm going to move around now to the other side of this pathway. Uh, there's a lovely fence that's leading into the water. I'm definitely going to get a long exposure of that, I think. So that's where I'm going to go to next. Can you hear these? Can you hear these runners? Can you hear the runners behind me? I think they're going to go in a minute. There might be a bang. Here we go. Ready? I wonder if there's going to be a bang. Is there going to be a firing gun? Starting gun. Here it comes. Ready? Ah, she just, she just said go. That's disappointing. I was expecting a gun. You gotta run for fun. The only time I'm gonna run is like, if McDonald's is just about to stop serving breakfast. So for this shot, I've got the six stop on. Uh, no, no ND grads because everything's pretty neutral. Uh, I'm focusing on the church and I'm just looking at the line of the fence leading out. Polarizer on, cutting the glare off the water, focusing on the church. Six stop filter on, six second exposure, simple shot. That's it. the last shot I'm going to take here I think I'm going to head on home now uh, I've had a good day I, I always have a good day when I come out really I love it I love photography I love being out I'm not sure I fancy running but probably explains why I'm pre-diabetic and 19 and a half stone um, <laughs> I've had a good time though uh, it's been nice thanks for watching uh, I hope you enjoyed it again as I said last week Thanks so much for the new subscribers, it's really appreciated. And if you like the video, then please thumb it up. And if you haven't subscribed and you want to, then feel free to hit the subscribe button because uh, there should be plenty more content coming out this year. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, really appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one.